Today we will study a new term in electricity and that is a very popular term that is potential. In physics basically the quantity what we study is potential difference not a potential but potential difference between two points when one point becomes zero then we term it as potential. So, the actual quantity is potential difference. So, now we will study what is meant by potential difference. First and the foremost thing, potential difference is between two points of the space, between this point and this point. This may be a free space, this may be a metal, this may be any material, any two points there may be a potential difference and there is one compulsory condition. That compulsory condition is that these two points should exist in electric field, electric field. So, in space, in a metal wire, in a sheet, there is electric field. In that electric field, we will choose any two point and we will use a term that there is certain potential difference between these two points. And what is meant by that potential difference that I am going to explain you. So, the first thing is what? There has to be an electric field. Now, here is an electric field. In this electric field, there are two points. Let us say this point A and this is point B. I will use one term that there is potential difference between A and B. What I mean by that? What I mean by that? Understand. I have this unit charge in my hand. Unit test charge. A very small charge. Okay. It is one unit. I keep it here. And this I take my original position. Now I start going this way. If it is a charge Q, then because of this electric field, it is experiencing a force. And how much is that force? Q into E in a particular direction, this direction. Now I want to bring it to A. What I will have to do? There is a force in this direction and I have to push it. Against this force, I have to push it. I have to do the displacement more, more, more. So what's happening? I am applying a force. I am applying a force in this direction, applied force and I am doing a displacement. So when force is applied on something and it carries the displacement, then what are we doing? Answer, we are doing work. When I am doing work, what is work? I am spending my energy and that energy is being converted into work. I can always calculate that work. So, here I had an energy in my hand, 100. I have done certain work. When I came here, the energy left in my hand is 80. So, I have spent energy 20 according to work energy theorem. This is the work I have done from this point to this point. This situation you understand. Now, I want to connect this work with the term potential difference. This is work done and this work done on unit charge. Work is done B to A. So, this work is done on unit charge from moving it from B to A. This measurement is called between A and B and I will write it potential. We will use the symbol V for that. Potential difference Va minus Vb and I will read it like this potential difference between A to B. 
potential at A minus potential at B. That is potential difference between A and B. And this is equal to what? This is equal to work done on unit charge. Work done on unit charge. Now, if I do not have a unit charge, suppose I have a charge Q. And this Q charge I bring from here to here and I do the work W for carrying charge Q, the work done is W. Then how much is the charge done or how much is the work done per unit charge? Answer work done divided by Q. This is work done per unit charge and work done per unit charge is potential difference. So I will write it Va minus Vb. If I want to avoid the letters A and B then I can write it potential difference dV. A small potential difference is equal to if I go a very small distance and from this point to this point there is a potential difference of dV. The work done from this point to this point is dW. The charge I am carrying is Q. So Q charge ask me to do the work dw so for unit charge work done will be dw by q and work done on unit charge from this point to this point is the potential difference so dw upon q is the potential difference this potential difference without giving the names i am writing dv so i get a formula dv w upon q dw upon q potential difference work done on unit charge Potential difference, work upon charge. This is potential difference. Now, potential difference, if we take the charge is equal to 1, 1, then what is potential difference? Answer, potential difference is work. Remember, what is electric field? You know that electric field, if charge is equal to 1, then electric field is what? Force. Electric field is force. Force is a vector quantity. Electric field is a vector quantity. Potential difference is what? Work. On unit charge, work is a scalar quantity. So potential difference is a scalar quantity. So E is vector quantity. dV, that is potential difference, is scalar quantity and we know that scalar quantity are very easy to deal with their multiplication their addition their division it does not need any direction so it becomes very easy with them to operate in mathematics so all our calculations in the electric field we would like to do in the terms of potential difference rather than in electric field and we will find relation between the two electric field and potential difference. So, once again potential difference we will fix up certain unit of potential difference. So, here in this lecture what we conclude in an electric field there is a characteristic for measurement between any two points depending on the strength of electric field and that is potential difference. Potential difference is a quantity when we go from one point to the other point carrying a unit charge. Then whatever work we have to do that is known as potential difference. Now its units, its dimensions that we will see in the next lecture.